All right then, so now we know how to create a regular expression in JavaScript. Let's create our first one to validate one of these fields. And we're gonna start with the easiest one, which is the telephone number, I think, because that's just 11 digits long. So what we're looking for in this field is a user to enter 11 numbers from zero to nine. That matches a UK telephone number. So what we'll be doing is storing all of our different regex patterns for these different fields in one single object. Rather than create a different variable for each one, I wanna store them all in one single object. And then each property inside that object can be a different regular expression, which refers to a different form field, okay? So let's create a constant to store this object in and we'll call it patterns, set it equal to this object. And the first property that we want to do is for this field right here called telephone so let's be wild and call this property name telephone as well okay cool so we know that this is going to be a regular expression so let's do our double forward slash first of all and we'll put our regex inside this then what we want to do is say look the stuff inside this field needs to be digits from zero to nine so i guess what we could do is a character set with a range inside it saying, okay, so anything from zero to nine, that will match a single character from zero to nine. But instead of that, we can also use the, me uh, the meta character backslash D, and that is also doing the same thing. Remember, it's saying match any digit from zero to nine. So at the minute, this is looking good, but it's only matching one single character. So it's only gonna match something like five, or a three, or a seven, etc. not the whole, 11 numbers so what we need to do is say look we need 11 of these things and we know how to do that after the d we can open up our curly braces and inside specify how many times we want this repeated 11 times okay so you might be sitting there thinking well that was easy this is done now but you'd be wrong this is not done just yet remember if we were to type something in this field right now if it's 11 numbers long let's just do that five six seven eight nine 10, 11, then this is okay, this would get a match. But also what would get a match is this. This would also get a match because the regex pattern that we've created is looking at this field and saying, well, yeah, I'm getting a match because I can see right here, 11 consecutive numbers in that field. So yeah, this is fine. But in actual fact, it's not fine, is it? Because we don't want this uh, DEF and we don't want this stuff at the start either. So how can we combat this? Well, we've already seen how we can combat this. We used the two special characters, the carrot at the start, which is saying, okay, well, this thing right here now must be at the start, okay? And then we also use a dollar sign at the end to say it also must be at the end. So this right here now is not gonna match because this thing is neither at the start of the field, nor is it at the end. OK, it's matching the numbers, but it's not matching the position of this inside the form field. So now this won't match. But if we get rid of these dudes, now this would match. Now the number is at the start and it's also at the end of the test string. Does that make sense? So we're going to be seeing this carrot and this dollar sign at the beginning and at the end of every different form field that we do. And now this is valid. How simple was that to create a regular expression to match a valid phone number is a carrot then backslash d 11 times dollar all between the two forward slashes and that's all we need to do so now we've created that regular expression but we don't know how to test it against this it's not really doing anything at the minute we've just stored it in this property in the object patterns what we really want to do is take this regular expression and then when a user types a number in here test this number against this regular expression to see if it is valid and we're going to be doing that in the very next tutorial